This was the week where CEO Uh, of MyPillow, Mike Lindell, was passed around right wing media like a legal hot potato as he continued to claim that the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump. OAN and Newsmax or knockoff Fox are trying to thread that needle of appealing to their MAGA base while avoiding being sued by companies like Dominion Voting Systems, which has already sued uh, members of Trump's legal team, Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, to the tune of one point three billion dollars each. Um, Lindell recently purchased a two hour time slot on OAN to air his docu film called Absolute Proof, in which he presents no proof. Um, instead, he presents a bunch of theories about servers in Frankfurt, Chinese controlled voting machines, dead people voting, um, all which had to be prefaced by OAN with this very, very shook disclaimer. This program is not the product of OAN's reporting. The views, opinions, and claims expressed in this program by Mr. Lindell and other guests, presenters, producers, or advertisers are theirs and theirs alone and are not adopted or endorsed by OAN or its owners. In particular, OAN does not adopt or endorse any statements or opinions in this program regarding the following entities or people. U.S. Dominion, Inc. and any related entities. Smartmatic USA Corp, Brian Kemp, Brad Raffensberger, or Gabriel Sterling. <laughs> May contain traces of nuts, horse meat, and lies. <laughs> Look, Francesca, I get it. Like, Mr. this my pillow guy is annoying and a jackass, but also I love it, and I think we're not looking on the bright side. Mm, tell me. If on November 9th, 2016, you had told me that the regime of President Donald Trump would end with his only last supporters being Rudy Giuliani, who at this point is a horcrux in human form, and the My Pillow guy, I would say, A, that's great that he is so isolated and alone, and B, what is My Pillow? Uh, (laughs) because if you had locked all the comedy writers in a room and said, you have to write a joke about Donald Trump's last proxy on the news with a what's next type joke, like that'd be crazy. What's next? And set up the most obscure and irrelevant person. None of them would have come up with anything close to as good as the, my pillow guy. Most of us don't even know his name. Please don't tell me. I don't want to know. There is no one, not even the most deranged and illiterate proud boy who thinks this my pillow guy has some valid points. Uh, our reality show, white supremacist, rapist president being defended by a pillow mogul, that is lyrical, historic, poignant comedy. <laughs> it is like a Shakespearean comedy. As they said in Twelfth Night, dost thou think because thou art virtuous, there shall be, be no more cakes and pillows. The biggest question is why David Hogg of the Parkland fame is in a fit of fury at the MyPillow guy's offenses, decided that the best response was to start a competing pillow company. Yes. Uh, Boss Hogg, there are easier ways to make a living. (laughs) If you want to put MyPillow business out of business, if you want to put MyPillow out of business, did you know that MyPillow isn't even the most popular brand of pillow? you could have just done a boycott. You could have been like, hey, everybody, according to the New York Times Wirecutter, sleep number is one of the many better pillow options for you. Right. Obviously. Wom Sutta of- Dream Dreamscape is my favorite or dream maker. Any totally. keep going. So Obviously, good. one Very of the lesser known forms of PTSD experienced by survivors of school massacres is not being able to remember that there are multiple brands of pillow to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marjorie. All right, there. Yeah. Stop harassing a survivor. But you know, you go. he's he's a twenty year old at Harvard. Like, if he wasn't starting a startup, like, would he actually be? Would he exist? Um, I feel like that's every twenty year old at Harvard's goal. Um, he is starting a, a pillow company together with uh, a software engineer, um, who's another like I don't know how you could be thirteen, you could be thirty kind of uh, vibe of a dude. Um, Hogg says, this time it'll be union made, have an emphasis on supporting pro- progressive causes, causes and not attempt a white supremacist overthrow of the United States government so you can sleep at night. And I'm in it for just that slogan. Won't attempt a white supremacist coup so you can sleep at night. 
Um, I love that. I wonder if it will be called Not My Us Pillow. I think it'll be called Historical Memory Foam. Hey, thanks so much for watching the Bituation Room podcast live stream. And while you're here, why don't you just subscribe to this channel? I promise it'll be good. Promise.